All right, uh, hello, this is uh, Schweitzer. And we are looking at maybe one of our last videos in the motion chapter of physics. Um, and the topic we have here is what's called an overtake. We're just going to do one simple problem, but and describe the scenario. But it's it's a commonly shown problem, and you will want to be able to jump on this if you see it. Um, and even though this problem is simple, the setup is be pretty typical, pretty much the same for any problem. Okay, so we have let's say person. A and person A is uh, is traveling at 10 meters per second and travels for five seconds. Then, right at that time, we call that time time t. Um, person B, they need to catch up with A to tell them something, and and that's point. If if B isn't traveling faster than 10, they'll never then, then B will never catch A. So B is going to be traveling at let's say 15 meters per second. At this point, um, you know, B is going to be, you know, at time T, so there's a certain amount of time starts now. Time starts, and tick, 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 tick. Um, A is still traveling. B is starting to catch up because they're going faster. At what point um, T, so T, uh, let's say T1 and T2, um, so what is the, you know, what's the change in time? That'd be T2 minus T1, so the change in time. Commonly just referred to at this point as t. Um, that's t2 minus t1 equals just your time. How much time is required for b to catch a? All right, we have one basic formula here. Now, okay, before I do that, just so you know that before we start this problem, uh, we know that going to the right is a positive frame of reference, and going to the left would be negative. So this a could uh, at this time t realize that. B is looking for them and turn around and come back. And maybe they'd have, so in that case, they'd have a negative velocity. And you could still, the math would always be the same. It all would work out the same. Um, okay, so uh, the formula here is S equals XI uh, plus VIT plus one half AT squared. Of course, this is its initial location, initial velocity, time, acceleration. All right, so, um, and then let's take this formula, let's use it twice, once for A and once for B. I'm going to just draw it like this, X1 plus VIT plus one half AT squared equals S, VIT plus one half AT squared. And at this point, note I have the distance traveled equaling both of them. This is because when they come to the same point, they are the same distance away. And the, and the distance trap will be identical and therefore will cancel out. And my two formulas will be set equal to each other. Um, neither of the A or B are accelerating. So even though it's perfectly easy to plug it in right under acceleration and solve for T along with it, there is no acceleration. So this is going to be a zero and this is going to be a zero. Um, person B didn't get a head start, so their initial location was zero. I don't even have it in here. Uh, I should have had in here a plus x1, just like this guy got one, but it would be zero. So only thing this guy has is the initial velocity of 15 meters per second, and then just my time that that person travels, um, and we didn't get anything uh, as far as the um, acceleration equals, and then again, this guy is just going to be you know, how far Head Start did A get? Uh, well, it didn't say how far they went, but they went 10 meters for 5 seconds. Let's use our distance formula. We got 0 for initial location, 10 meters per second, 5 seconds, and it's not accelerating. So we don't have to have anything in there. So 10 times 5 is 50. You might be able to do that in your head even. 10 meters per second for every second, 5 seconds is 50, 50, 50 meters. So in this case, um, x on i is 50 plus, again, 10 meters per second. And what's my time? Equals, and this is plus 0, equals that. Solve for t. Move all your non-t's over, and or your t's over. Move your non-t's over and solve for t. It will be, in this case, subtract this guy over. I get a negative 
15t. Kick that guy over here equals a negative 50. Negative 15. And your t equals 5. Um, uh, 50 divided by, in this case, um, well, 15. Subtract that over, and you get a negative 5. So we're going to have a negative 5 on one side, so this would be negative 5t. And then I have my 50 over here, so it's 50 divided by negative 5. Sorry for that little typo there. And 50 divided by 5 is negative, or say positive, 10. Right? So it takes 10 seconds. That's a pretty common question is, uh, okay, uh, how, uh, how much time will it take to catch up? The next question will be, okay, well, where... Where is that location? So first is time, and then they say, well, okay, where will you be when you get, when they get caught? Well, that's the distance. And we know that for 10 seconds, they both end up the same spot. So I want to use this distance formula. With either one of them would be fine, just by plugging in their original location, the original velocity, original the, t the 10 seconds, and of course, neither, no one's accelerating. All right. Um, so quickly, let's just pick B. Um, Mr. B had uh, a zero initial starting point, 15 meters per second for 10 seconds. Is um, again no acceleration. Equals 10 times 15 is uh, looks like 150 meters out, and that is the amount of distance that's traveled. And every problem is basically the same. Little wrinkle here, there may, but that's basically it.